This is uh, Professor Alex Akwadiete, or Dr. Alex, or, uh, some of my clients. This is part of the micro teach series where we try to keep the lecture under three minutes, hopefully uh, do it in two minutes. So today I want to talk about understanding uh, digital forensics or cyber forensics or computer forensics. Because it's all related, but sometimes we'll ask the question, what is uh, computer forensics? So I'm going to use a set of slide deck that I've prepared in here too, like always, to try and teach the uh, uh, concept to you, right? So that's just about me. You have been in industry for a long time. You can look at this in one or the other uh, videos to get a little better knowledge about uh, uh, who I am. Uh, I teach this at the university and I consult uh, for clients around the world on this. That's how you can hook, connect with me. So basically, digital forensics is a scientific process for us to acquire, analyze, preserve, or present digital evidence. Uh, it could be for use in, in the intelligence sector, uh, in the military, in the civil or criminal matters, right? But there are certain things that uh, digital forensics evidence must have. Uh, we tend to say it must be admissible in a court of law if I'm going to use it for a criminal prosecution or a civil case. I remember in my 16 years when I was a criminal defense attorney or even a private uh, attorney looking at evidence to see is this valid? You hear a lot of doctrines about the uh, food of the poisonous tree or is it, you know, so, but the point is that that evidence must be admissible in the court of law, right? Also, it must not be altered. So if I'm seeing um, a file, I want to make sure that it has not been altered. That's what we tell you to use uh, what I call forensically sound process. Uh, work on the copy, not on the original. Make sure it's right protected so you don't add any kind of metadata in there. I will explain some of this concept in subsequent videos. And the process must be repeatable. So if I am a forensic expert, I work on evidence and I come to a conclusion, some other forensic uh, expert must be able to do the same thing and uh, come up with the same evidence, right? So uh, is digital forensics the same as cyber forensics or computer forensics? I would say yes. Uh, some people might disagree with me. What happened is this. Initially, we were looking at uh, analysis of computers. That's why the word computer forensics came up. Laptops, desktop. Uh, of course, today I also teach a class in, at the university called cyber forensics because we're now brother. But digital evidence, digital forensics is more appropriate because we're looking at digital evidence. It could be from your IoT device, the microwave, your router, uh, your smart TV, your laptop. But because your phone itself today is like a powerful computer, uh, mobile forensics is part of digital forensics. So I prefer the word digital forensics, but they essentially mean the same uh, thing, right? So our consulting service includes things like training you on tools like uh, FTK, uh, autopsy, volatility, different tools for forensics, and assist you in evidence collection analysis or expert witness in court, or give you what I call a meaningful insight into the evidence that you collected. Right, so available for you. Subscribe to this video. Uh, make sure you get notifications for the subsequent teaching videos. Again, that's how you can reach me. And uh, this is a uh, Dr. Alex Tower Aquadete. Again, digital forensics scientific process for acquiring, uh, presenting, preserving digital evidence, and it's the same thing as computer forensics or cyber forensics. Thank you.